Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford Salina, Kansas, your source for news, updates, and information on your different Ford products. In this week's uh, this video, we're going to talk about the 2022 Ford Escape. We're going to talk about the S trim. So we're going to talk about basically what's standard on all of your escapes for the 2022 model year. So we're going to go through all the standard equipment first. We'll talk about some different other packages and even show you the build and price tool uh, using that as kind of reference to the, to some of this information. Might pull in some information from last year, which hasn't really, uh, a lot has changed from last year to this year model, just to give you some close up on some of the different features that we're going to talk about. So, uh, of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed over to the channel, hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified next time we have another video uploaded to YouTube channel. So we're going to go ahead and get started here and uh, jump right in. Now, don't uh, forget, we do have a free shipping policy. So if you want to learn a little bit more about that, We'll have a timestamp down in the description for that. Uh, check that out, as well as we'll have timestamps if you want to move around. So some people may not want to talk, uh, listen to some of the safety features. You can move around in the video using the timestamps and the chapters down below in the description. So let's go ahead and get started. So first, we're going to talk about some of the mechanical features first. And uh, before I do that, I am going to actually show you my screen. So we're going to go over here. There you go. So we're going to use Ford's uh, Build and Price. It has a great, uh, you know, Ford has a great website at Ford.com. You can see just like you're seeing here. Uh, when you go to Ford.com, you can see the different vehicle models. So we are going to talk about the Escape in this case. So SUVs and crossovers, Escape, and we go to the Build and Price. So it's really cool because you can build out your vehicle real nice and easily right off of their website. Uh, one of the things they don't discuss in here, and that's why we're going to cover this in this video, is that they don't go over the standard equipment well in theirs. So they, a lot of times they'll just show you the options you have, but you don't know whether or not something's standard or not. So that's what we're going to cover in this video. So click on the Start Your Build on the S trim. You'll see they start at 27025. There we go. And then we're going to jump in. We're going to use some of these images in here to give you an idea of some of the features in here. So some of these mechanical features, usually under the hood and suspension and, and such like that, they're not going to be visible and seen by this. So we're just going to use this as a reference point here. Um, so first thing I want to talk about now, the standard and the only engine available on this, and if you go over to the powertrains, we'll cover that, is the 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine with the auto start stop technology. Auto start stop means when you come up to stop light, stop sign, press the brake, it's going to shut the vehicle off, let go of the brake, it's going to turn it back on. Uh, that is also something you can deactivate on each engine cycle. Uh, you're able to do that, and then that way you can keep moving along. You'll see here uh, that is available in either the it's standard in the front wheel drive, but it's also optional in the all wheel drive, even on the S trim, which is a, a nice addition here for that. And you'll get an eight speed automatic transmission standard equipment on these. So not sure why they have the drive twice. I think one of those is supposed to be the transmission. Uh, it's kind of funny. So um, it's an eight speed automatic transmission. So it's going to shift. Well, we'll have selectable drive modes for different uh, drive modes. You know, you have normal eco, um, not sure if we'll have a sport mode on these. You also usually have a slippery mode and such for those types of situations. So drive modes are, are really crucial and they work really well. Um, you do have the electric parking brake as well that includes auto hold. So auto hold means that if you want to, you know, stop, relax, for it, something like that, you can press the auto hold. It's going to hold the brake until you you start accelerating uh, and or hit the gas pedal. Uh, then it will take off from there. So that's really nice. A lot of people like that. You also have the electronic traction control as well and your electronic power assist steering. So I, I like about the electric power assist steering is, is that, you know, when you go a little bit slower, a little bit easier to turn that steering wheel. But when you get faster, you know, on the highway and such, that wind cycle push you from side to side as as much. A um, couple other things to talk about. You do have curve control as well, and you have torque vectoring control uh, too. So uh, that's all the mechanical feature I want to cover, but I do have some safety features as well. So we'll uh, some of the safety features I want to talk about. One of them is your advanced track with roll stability control. So I like that one because, you know, if you go into a curve too fast, slick driving road, that advanced track will help you keep you on your intended path and help from that vehicle rolling over or something like that. Also, you do have free collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So the car in front of you is going much, you know, going slower than you. You're not paying attention. It's going to put some lights on the screen, some tones that you need to stop. Pre, uh, it preloads those, so it does have dynamic brake support that goes along with this. So that way, it, you're ready when you hit that brake. It's going to already kind of be engaged in, in initiating that brake. I also do have post collision braking too. So if for some reason you're unconscious, not able to put it back in the drive or you forget to, it'll have post collision braking as well. Um, a couple other safety features, you will have 911 assist. So you will be able to Bluetooth your phone in and uh, it'll call, call 911 directly instead of using like OnStar or something like that. 
And then you also do have SOS host flash alert system. So it'll honk the horns, flash the lights if you're in an accident off the side of the road, that kind of thing. So people can help come to your safety. Uh, and then you also do have lane keeping system. So this is a nice feature. That is standard equipment on the Scape S. So when you have that, you know, enabled, you can activate and deactivate that. Uh, you, you know, you have your pre your driver alert features. So if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel, it lets you know that. But also, if you're leaving your lane, you have an alert system and an aid system. So the alert system will allow you to leave your lane. But when you do leave your lane, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. If you do have the uh, the alert system or the aid system will help keep you in your lane as well. So uh, it has both of those uh, features for the lane keeping system. Also, you do have security lock, passive NFF system. So the way this works is when you shut the vehicle off, it automatically locks the steering column. So unless you have the coded key uh, for the vehicle, you're not able to start it. So that's a real nice way to just protect it so somebody can't uh, take off with it uh, in, in the vehicle. So, okay, so that's all the mechanical and safety features, but let's talk and walk around this, talk about the exterior of the vehicle next. So now we're gonna go ahead and up, uh, go up here on this. What's really great about Ford's website is you can uh, uh, move around here. So, you know, we go up to the paint, it kind of moves us to the top. Uh, you do have packages exterior and such so we are going to talk as we get into the exterior uh normally don't do this when i have a vehicle in the building um, but we're going to be able to do this with this and we do have the different colors that's available so you do have a gate black that's available uh, metallic paint you do have oxford white you also have ingot silver metallic you have carbonized gray metallic it's available uh, you do have also atlas blue very beautiful color by the way and then you do have the uh, iced blue silver metallic which is a new color for 2022 on the escape so uh, you have all those six color choices on the s trim uh, so those are those color choices so we will get in these uh, different packages really the what we're going to talk about standard equipment is your 100a so when they have packages uh, that's the only package that is available sometimes some other trims will have other packages available but not on your s trim so moving on down to the exterior here um, we're going to talk about some of these we'll talk about and use some of these images here to give you some close-ups of that so and we can actually do this here which maybe we'll do and it gets you a little bit closer there so let's uh kind of use that i don't think i can move left and right uh with that though so it does have the images down below so we'll use that angle there so you can kind of see that and see how i uh, actually yeah good so my photo <laughs> video doesn't show up there so we do have as you can see on the grill you do, ha do have the uh, black grill here so it's standard on these so nice grill for blue oval on the up there as well on the top of the front fascia uh, you also do have automatic headlights so automatic means to come on automatically when it's dark shut off when it gets light uh, they are halogen projector headlights on the s trim and you will also have configurable daytime running lights you can configure those to be on uh, this is showing an led light underneath there i believe that is your what your daytime running light is going to be uh, you also do have wiper activated headlights so in some states it's required if you have you know, if it's raining outside that your headlights are on if your wipers are on it's going to turn on the headlights forge got you covered there also you do have auto high beams standard equipment uh, with the s trim so just like your automatic headlights if it's dark enough outside it's going to turn those high beams on if someone's approaching you or you're in the city lights it's going to turn it off and that is a feature you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen uh, front bumper is uh, down here in the lower part of that is that molded in black uh, um, basically the black color is put into the mold when it's made so that way it's not painted on like it is up here it's going to be more durable take those blunt of those rocks and such like that and you also have a molded in a uh, color silver skid plate so that's this plate right here in the front in the middle as well you also have active grill shutter so of course they're not showing any image here but those grill shutters will open and close at will so on highway speeds uh, it's going to close those up there's plenty of air coming underneath to cool the engine and give you a little more aerodynamics on the highway uh, in town it's going to open those up allow for more airflow in uh, since you won't have as much coming up from underneath on those uh, slower uh, speeds in the city and such so um those are all your uh, front interior fe exterior features but now let's move around and go to the side of the vehicle and talk about some of the side features as i move my notes to the next page here so um going down on down here we we'll get a good side image here we go if i click on that one does it give us there we go so side image here um so we do have uh the wheels as you can notice here those are a 17 inch steel wheels with sparkle silver 
um, painted covers. So you'll see the steel wheel back behind with the uh, wheel cover. So that's what's going to be standard equipment on these. All season tires will also be standard equipment and you'll have tire pressure monitoring system on those. And then four wheel disc brakes with ABS as well here. You will see on your mirrors, they are black molded in black mirror cover. Of course, uh, your door handles are going to be the same material here as well as your wheel lip moldings and your lower rocker moldings. Those are all going to be that same material, more durable uh, rocks and such to get kicked up. Um, it'll help protect it right there. Your oh, mirrors are a power mirror with a manual fold. So that means power adjusted uh, from the inside. You'll be able to take care of that. And standard equipment on these will be the Bliss with crash traffic alert. So Bliss, blind spot information system, uh, means it'll monitor your blind spot. So if there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. Also, as you're backing up, cross traffic alert means it's going to it's gonna monitor your cross traffic. So when you're backing up, someone's going to cross your path behind you. It's going to alert you and let you know there's someone coming. It's going to a series of tones that it's not safe for you to back up. It'll put a message on your productivity screen, which is right through the steering wheel there, as well as a light in the corner from the sides are coming from of that mirror, on the exterior mirror. So real nice. Love the Bliss system there and how that all works there. Uh, you also do have on the window... Uh, molded in black around that wheel, uh, the window, and the belt line molding, which is right along the right along the door there. So that's gonna all be black on this as well here. You will also have a remote keyless entry with the flip key. So you're gonna be able to unlock, lock the vehicle, panic alarm as well if you need to try to find the vehicle. Sometimes people use it for that, or you know that somebody's close to your vehicle, you can hit that panic alarm and uh, scare people off a little bit. You also do have, and it's on the driver's side, a Easy Fuel Kappa's filler door that's your gas cap so you just press it it's going to open up no cap to worry about losing getting your hands dirty anything like that uh you just it's a double door system you just put that nozzle in there and fill it up and then take it out shut the exterior door of the fuel uh, when you're ready um, and it's the exact size that you get at the fuel you fuel pump so if you have to you know fill it up with your own gas can those are not the correct size you will need to use the funnel that'll be located in the vehicle uh, for you to use on that. So now moving to the rear, see if we can get an image of the rear here. There we go, we'll use this one right here. There we go, for the rear of the vehicle. So standard equipment on the rear is you do have a body colored spoiler up here. So uh, in this case is the ice blue. You do have um, black coming down on these side pieces, rear defrost with rear wiper back here. Your nice Ford emblem escape on the back of that lift gate too. Uh, your uh, tail lights here are LED tail lights in this case, and uh, you do have the amber backup uh, or amber turn signals on those. Uh, these here are reflectors on the back, so those are reflectors. So, so if you you know so you know, have that lift gate open, you know you can those reflectors if people are passing you will see that you're on the side of the road. You will have that molded in black bumper just like we talked about on the side rocker moldings and everything else like that. And again, this uh, silver molded in color rear skid plate right here, dual exhaust as you're seeing with this one here. Uh, you will have rear view camera, standard equipment, so you're gonna be able to see as you're backing up. You will not have the sensors, so you're not get alerted if you if you get close to anything, but you will be able to see behind you. And you'll have a manual lift gate. Now, one of the things you can't see is opening this up, so hopefully I have some clips from last year on this. But you will have um, that latch system. I like to talk about that here. Uh, that's a lower anchors and tethers for children. That's a way for you to secure those front and rear facing uh, car seats into it uh, by using the tether system that's on the back of those back seats uh, for all three of those seats. Uh, so you can, those front facing car seats will latch back there so they won't come forward. You can tighten that down as well as the, um, the harnesses that it has for the uh, uh, latch system on the, when the seat cushion and seat back come together down there to put those front and rear facing uh, car seats in there. So does have that. Uh, for a no spare tire here, standard equipment, you do have the tire and inflator and sealant kit. So that's a way for you to, you know, use that, you know, seal the tire if you have a flat tire and then air it up. Um, so that's what you're going to have. So if you're on the side of the road, if you don't have a way to air up that tire, um, you're going to probably have a problem there, but you will get roadside assistance included on, with your vehicle purchase. You do have a rear cargo area light uh, in the back of the cargo area, as well as it does have some cargo hooks in the back back there. Now let's talk about the interior. So we're going to close that, go down to your interior here, and we're going to have a couple of different angles here. And then we have this 360 view here, which is what we're probably going to use 
in this situation. So interior standard equipment here, uh, you do have the, of course, first talk about the airbags. You're going to have a driver and front passenger dual stage airbag. That means it's going to deploy a different size airbag depending on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You do also have a driver knee airbag that's going to deploy down underneath that steering column to protect you. Um, and then you have uh, front side impact airbags too. So let me actually close this and go to the side shot. So uh, you will have a side impact airbag. See a little label right there? That's what says airbag. Side impact airbag that'll deploy if you have a side impact that'll help protect the occupants and the front row, the driver and front passenger in this case. And you'll have safety canopy airbags. It's going to deploy down from the roof line, protect from breaking glass if you have a rollover situation uh, for those in the front as well as the rear seats back there. You will have illuminated entry lighting, which means you open the doors. Those lights will come on. Um, allow you to be able to see as you're getting in that night. Uh, you will have carpeted front, uh, carpeted flooring. You also have carpeted front and rear floor mats. So I say uh, as it's uh, a big deal, but in some vehicles, you don't always get rear floor mats. On, the, uh, on this case, you do get front and rear floor mat standard equipment. Cloth bucket seats as well. So I'm going to go back to this 360 view here. So I'll try not to make anybody dizzy. I'll move slow. <laughs> so you do have a cloth and bucket seats here. Uh, the driver will get a six-way manual driver seat. The passenger will get a four-way manual passenger seat. So four-way means that there's going to be a lever under here. So it'll be able to go adjusted forward and back. And then the also the passenger and the driver will get a, power, a manual recline. So there's going to be a lever over here to allow you that backrest to be uh, go back and forth. The driver will also, the reason it's a six-way is this seat cushion will come go up and down. So that way you have a, somebody a little shorter, they might want to lift themselves up so they can see a little bit better over the hood. Um, in the rear, try to move this back. Whoa. Without making anybody dizzy back here, you do have a second row 60 40 split bench seat. So you can see it split right here. So you can lay that seat rest, the seat back down on either one. So if you need something a little longer, you can do that. Um, also, these seats will slide forward and back. So that is new for 21. Uh, so that's a really nice uh, feature. So you can give you a little more leg room. If you don't need anything in the cargo, you can move that seat back, and give you more leg room in the second row. There's a lot of leg room back there as well. So I think you'll like that. Or if you need to move that forward, if you have something a little more luggage in the back, you can do that as well. So you can move those seats, both of those seats, forward and back. Um, this is showing a, a um, armrest that comes down. That's not standard equipment. Not sure why they're showing that in that image. That is not correct. Just wanted to uh, clarify that. Um, front windows, you will have, zoom this back around, you will have power windows here. Uh, front one touch just for the driver's window. One touch means you hard press it down and that window is going to roll down automatically. You don't have to hold that button. It comes in kind of handy if you, uh, um, if you're at the drive through that kind of thing. So you're coming up, you can press it, you know, get your wallet out, whatever. Um, but it is just one touch down, not down and up. And it's only for the driver's window. Uh, you will have power lock and unlock. And the steering wheel here is going to be a polyurethane steering wheel for you. Get this around here. We're going to start talking about the front of it here. Um, we do have cruise control, standard equipment on this. You're going to see those controls right up there. Um, and then I can't remember the controls down below, but I think these are your volume controls, if I remember right. Uh, these controls right here will control your productivity screen, which is a 4.2 inch productivity screen for the Escape S. And these buttons down here are for making and receiving phone calls using the Bluetooth controls uh, that it will have because it will have that sync system. Climate control is going to be a single zone manual climate control here. And you'll have a six speaker AM FM stereo audio sound system. Um, and then it'll have a 4.2 inch LCD screen in the center stack right here. Uh, there's your audio controls all right there. Hazard in the middle with uh, those vents right there. Uh, now, don't forget, you also have Ford Pass Connect. It allows, allows you to stay connected to your vehicle using the Ford Pass app. Connect the vehicle and it has an embedded modem, so you're going to be able to lock, unlock, remote start your vehicle using the app, locate your vehicle, a bunch of other features as well uh, with that. Uh, also, this mirror is a day-night mirror, which means there is a lever under here. You can't really see here, but if cars come up behind you and they have those bright lights, you can flip that mirror down, and that way it doesn't blind you as much. Um, and then also you do have uh, up here, kind of hard to see. There it is. You do have a flip down sunglass and bin, and those are the switches for your lights right there. Or those are your lights, and this is the switches to turn it on and off. 
Um, and then you do have, going back down, in this area, this is what we call the media hub area. You do have a PowerPoint down there. Uh, you also do have a um, the smart charging USB port. Looks like it is a, can't see there, I think it's a USB-C and a USB-A uh, plug-in there for you. So it depends on how you what you have for your phone. And then you do have a rotary dial shifter, which really what comes in handy about that, a lot of people maybe have, uh, say that's a negative, but what Ford's gonna allow you to do with that is that if you have that in drive and for some reason you forget, you open the door, you let off the brake, it's gonna automatically put it in the park for you. So that once you open those doors, it puts it in the park. Nice safety feature there. And then you do have the center console here um with an armrest and little compartment to put some things down in there you can see some switches here one of those is the auto start stop one of them is the auto hold switch um you do have the driver um your drive mode switches is down there as well so a couple features i think it's that one on the left and not sure what the one on the right is can't remember but you need of course a couple cup holders right there as well so that's all your all your uh, standard features uh, right there but now what i want to do is cover some optional equipment that you might think about and this is where the building price can come in handy is showing you what options uh, you can add and how it affects your price now we're going to talk about some of the optional equipment that's available uh for uh the s trim now don't forget uh i do want to go, go over this the building price tool is a great tool but i'm going to show you how to use it uh, you do have here the uh, at any time you want to see the price on the vehicle you hit this summary right here and it's going to take you down to the price so we haven't added anything yet onto this uh, make sure actually i did i was messing around earlier uh, looking something up so let me go up here <laughs> to the powertrain and go back to front wheel drive so i was doing that so uh so yes okay so we go to summary at any t at any point drops you down the bottom shows you what you've added to the vehicle in this case we haven't added anything well we did but i took it off so you can see base price as standard equipment uh stock you do have a 1495 destination delivery at this present time uh 27025 and then so there's your updated and there's a 500 rebate right now on the escape uh, so right now you would be at 28020 if you were purchasing one or ordering one right now. So and then this monthly payments is best on as based on some information already at the calculator. There so you can go right into that. And we're gonna there is a lease or finance options now. Just so you know, if you do, I don't think you can lease uh, an uh, S front wheel drive, but you can an all wheel drive. And we'll show you that in just a little bit. But you'll know when you go to a lease, you'll see this acquisition fee that'll drop in here. So if you see that 645. Act fee that is for lease only, just so you know that. So, if you plan to finance, then it will not pop into your figure. So, now moving on up, so we are going to go. So, just to show you, if we added all wheel drive, which is one of the options that you can do, is you can add the all wheel drive to your vehicle. Hit yes, uh, $1,500 add to your. So, if you move down here, now you're going to see that actually this changes the base price from that. Now, when we add options, it'll be listed under the options. So, just so you're aware of that. So we're going to go back up to packages and then work our way down. First, talking about some of the exterior features. Now, Ford breaks it out on the order guide in three different ways that you can get some of these exterior features. And first, we want to talk about the factory installed options. So these are the ones you would want to get from the factory. So if you're thinking about these options, uh, you definitely want to make sure you put them on your build. Now, there's some that are, you know, Ford accessories and dealer installed options. Those are options you can always get later or have you know the dealer take care of it for you uh, uh but the factory installed ones are ones you probably want to make sure if you thought maybe you might want it in the future definitely put that on your build from the factory so there are four of them that are available uh, a couple exterior features so first off you do have an optional wheel that's available so if i click this optional wheel you know it, it is the corner by the way it's a 595 add on top of the wheel that you get and you're going to see it is a 17 inch shadow silver painted alloy wheel uh, get this a little bit so you can see what that wheel looks like so you can have a nice looking wheel on the s trim giving you a nice looking vehicle uh for uh 595 more uh, to the vehicle so I'll, actually i'm gonna leave that on there so i can show you the options when we get down to the end and then another exterior option you can get is the engine block heater so some of these options again are accessories some are deal installed options and some are factory accessories so that's what we're going to break down this video engine block heater these first two are um not there one is a deal installed option one is a um is an accessory so we'll go on down here engine block heater is 150 dollars 
So if you click on the eye, it gives you a little more information. Uh, engine block heater, if you live in a, cold, a state that gets really cold and you leave it outside, you want to be able to start up easy, you can plug it into your house and keep that warm uh, overnight. And for $150, you can add that. And that is a dealer installed option you'd want to make sure you have. Something that's not listed in here is the front license plate bracket. Now, I will uh, tell you, if you live in a state that requires a front license plate, it's standard equipment, and Ford will make the dealer put it on the vehicle. If you live in a state like Kansas does not require a front license plate, it's optional equipment. It's a no-charge option, so we add it to all of our vehicles because we do a lot of out-of-state sales that where there people live in a state that requires a front license plate, so we add it to ours, and we install it at no charge. Uh, so we do it that way on all of ours. But if you do live in a state that doesn't require a front license plate, you might think about adding it to optional equipment if you want something fun to put on the front of it. Uh, a lot of us here in Kansas like to have something that we are passionate about on the front of it. And so you want to make sure you add that uh, from the factory for because you can add it later, but the dealer will charge you for the plate or for the bracket and they'll charge you to install it. But if you get it from the factory on your order, the dealer is required to install it at no cost. Ford takes care of that fee for you. So just something to keep in mind. Um, now, moving down to the inch here, there's one factory factory installed option you might think about getting, and that is the mini spare. So you can get that. We mentioned the tire and uh, seal and inflate and kit. Um, that is uh, standard, but you can, as optional equipment, get the mini spare. 17 inch mini steel spare, $110, very cheap option. If you wanna make sure you have a spare, you'll wanna make sure you add that to your vehicle build. That's the last interior installed option. So those are your factory installed options, uh, stand standalone options. Uh, now we're gonna go back up to the exterior and go through some of the accessories. So these accessories, I would say, leave off of your build. Uh, all of them can be purchased and receive. you can receive those after you get your vehicle. And some of these can hold up your build if you're doing a special custom order. So the first one to talk about when it comes to the exterior is the splash guard. So these splash guards are a nice feature to have, especially if you live down dirt roads and that kind of stuff. They will protect. They'll go on there. You can see it's four screws, well, for each pair. Um, so you will want to make sure you have those. I believe the front and the rear are the same. Uh, there's the same part number, but you can get those afterwards, install those. Uh, you probably install them yourself. Probably ought to be pretty easy to install. So that's something for listed uh, under their accessories there. Uh, also, the other one is your remote start. So down with the, with the, um, uh, actually I got off a little bit here. So, um, your, um, other one here is your, yeah, remote start. Yeah, it's right down here. So, all right, so your remote start system, uh, that allows you, you can use a Ford Pass app to help remote start your vehicle. 495, you can do it when you're close enough proximity to the vehicle. A little bit quicker using this remote start than using your phone to start the vehicle. Um, but I'm a person that I'd probably just rather use the phone, which is free to use. Ford doesn't charge you to use the Ford um, Pass Connect. Uh, so I would use the Ford Pass app to remote start your vehicle, but that is a, something that's an accessory added and you can also get that from the dealer. Now, when it comes to interior options um, for the accessories, there are four available. You do have down here. Oh, I forgot to mention, your in, the only interior color you can get is the ebony interior, like we did see in this vehicle. That is the only option for interior color. I did not cover that on the standard features, but um, just want to remember to do that. Cargo mat, $100. You can add the cargo mat. Click on the eye here to see more information, see if you want a cargo mat, it's going to be carpeted in the back. I forgot to mention that. Uh, but you will have the carpeted mat or the, that you can put in there if you want to. Um, that is available for you at $100. Uh, again, an accessory you can get afterwards through FordAccessories.com. I think it's actually accessories.ford.com. And you can order it. As you can see with that one, there's no real install other than just putting it in the vehicle. Uh, the second one to talk about is, is the Easy Access Cargo Shade. So this can be added to the vehicle too. Um, so click on the eye again that is a shade that goes back here as you can see helps block the sun also helps harder for people to see inside see what different items you have back there so that is something else you can add to your vehicle again it's an accessory can be ordered through ford on ford's website and you do have different floor liners so there are two of them here one of them for a reason one of them is if you want your carpeted mats and our standard equipment on it and you want the floor liners both and then you choose that top option there 
uh, for $200. If you don't know you'll never use a carbon mats, but you definitely want the all weather mats, then you can get the floor liners front and rear for 160 and they won't include the carpeted mats. So that's something new they've done the last couple of years. So again, these are accessories and this is actually something that does not hold up your build. Uh, so if you do want the floor liners, no, you do. You can order it um, from when you order your vehicle from Ford. Ford will include it when they send it. The vehicle in it is not a dealer installed option. Um, I believe that's that's the rest of them. That's all of them. So now the rest of these options, I know you're saying you know, on the uh, on the next year there were all of them. Well, this one wasn't included, um, but some of those you say I didn't include those. Well, th those are what they call dealer installed options, which means if you decide to put those on your build when you order, um, then what will happen is that they'll be shipped ahead of you. So as soon as your vehicle is being produced and is put together, it's been built, if it sees it has a dealer installed options, they send those the same time they release the vehicle um, and they send those to the dealer. So those dealer installed options will come to the dealership and the dealership is required to install them on your vehicle. Um, so they're dealer installed options. Um, and uh, a lot of these for the escape, for the, yeah, for the escape actually can be put on yourself so they are all ones that you could get through ford accessories as well so you'll notice if you go to accessories.ford.com you can find all these same options on their website and the first one for the exterior is the rear locking lug nuts for 75 dollars it's going to give you four uh special lug nuts if you want to put those on your wheels so that you have that so that people can't just you know use a regular you know tire iron and take your wheels off so that's something you can add to your vehicle as an exterior dio and what the what will what will happen is the dealer then will install those for you so that is kind of a nice feature to have the dealer installed if you want that should not hold up any builds i haven't seen that as being a, a constraint when it comes to ordering now some of these rest you do have the roadside assistance kit uh, so that one there is also something that's just put in the vehicle so again something you get from ford.com should not hold up your build um but you know will it from the factory i don't know uh, but that is something you can see all the different things included jumper cables um, basically if you're on the side of the road it kind of helps you uh just so people can see that you're you know have an issue especially at night that kind of thing uh, you have a co cool little kit there uh you also do have this first aid kit so again if you're out out something happens you know you have this first aid kit uh right there handy for you to get uh, again it comes to this little thing probably can fit in the glove box Put it in there if you need it. Um, so again, this is something you can get from Ford Accessories, um, but it should not hold up your build uh, if you order it from the factory. Um, with your build, I should say. And then you have a couple different cargo organizers. You can see uh, this first one here is a soft side uh, standard folding with the Ford logo. So cargo organizer, as you can see, there you can actually fold it up carry it that kind of stuff has handles all around it uh so that's pretty cool 80 dollars. but again something you can get through uh ford accessories website and this other one is a little bit bigger one so you can see it pretty much covers up the full back act there so much bigger if you want to you know organize your cargo great way to do it so things won't slide around and roll around in the back of the cargo area again something you can get through ford accessories website and then moving down you do have this little cooler bag so um and actually that's i actually just purchased one of these myself uh real easily off of uh ford's website so you, again something you can get from the factory should not hold up your build but just in case i would leave it off of your build and do it that way and then you do have a console vault so ford's been putting making these uh lately those are pretty actually pretty easy to install the dealer would install it if you do order it on your vehicle should not hold up your build does have a coded lock uh there you, you make your own uh, code there and install it uh, or they'll install it for you so that can be put in there so if you want to have that locked up you can do that because i don't think the console itself unlocks uh with the key so there you go so there's a those are all your dealer installed options that are available from the uh, factory so when you do your build when you order it you, uh, the reason i like to go through this is because some people don't they, they put these on there don't realize or think that they're going to hold up their build and sometimes they do and not all these have to be ordered from the factory uh, you know, a lot of these are accessories and such. I wanted to break down which were, you know, dealer installed and accessories can be get can be you can get those from you know accessories.ford.com after you get your vehicle or through your Ford dealer. A lot of times I'll have a lot of these things in stock that you can just put in your vehicle and then install it really quickly for your vehicle, uh, or just put in your vehicle like these first aid kits and such. So I'm going to break that down of what's a factory option that you'll definitely want to get if you're thinking about getting it from the factory, like the engine block heater and that kind of thing. 
you know, the mini spare, you'll definitely want to get those um, from there. So those four ones, just to kind of remind you, is the, if you want to get the upgraded alloy wheel, if you want to get the mini spare, the engine block heater, front license plate bracket, those are the four that if you're thinking you might want to get them, you want to put those on your build. The rest of those are accessories that you can always get later. Uh, a couple won't hold up your builds, but a couple could. So just some, keep that in mind. So there's our all of our standard equipment and the different options uh, for you on the S trim of the 2022 Ford Escape. Uh, do keep in mind you can uh, order these at the time of the recording of this video. You could still order a 2022 Ford Escape. Uh, so I want to make sure you knew how you can configure those uh, for whatever trim you're looking for. Uh, so you can get a reasonably priced uh, Ford Escape uh, for under thirty thousand uh, dollars on the S trim. Some a lot of people don't do the uh, video on the S trim pretty well equipped uh, that way uh, so if you're looking for uh, something like that under thirty thousand dollars get you a nice suv um and it gets pretty good fuel economy and uh so i think you really enjoy it uh so hopefully you did like this video and don't forget uh you can order these do a custom order right now probably the easiest way to get a vehicle a special ford escape really hard to find these on dealer lots so if you're wanting to uh, now you have a kind of a guide of how you can order the vehicle uh, when you go to the to the dealer and you know what's uh, standard as well as what's optional for you and what you might consider so hope you did enjoy this video and if you did smash that like button uh, if you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel, hit the red subscribe button down below. Uh, don't forget to hit the notification bell. That way you get notified the next time another video uploaded to the YouTube channel. And don't forget, if you are find, f struggling with finding a dealership that's honoring MSRP, knows how to order the vehicle and get everything in there, including the all the signed paperwork that you need to make sure it's approved order by Ford and it actually gets scheduled. Um, if you're struggling with that, we, we can help you out here. Uh, we do free shipping uh, uh, for you. If you order a vehicle, uh, mention this, uh, this video. Uh, the way we uh, make that work is, is that we uh, you ask you to finance the vehicle with us. So we're very transparent about that. Uh, the finance, the shipping is not free to us. Uh, but if you plan to finance a vehicle anyway, uh, that's something that's not a cost that would be incurred onto you. And then you can get up to $1,000 of free shipping available. So we do say up to $1,000 because if you live further than uh, what it costs us to, uh, to ship it, we will have you pay for the rest of that and the shipping cost. Uh, so that's an idea. Or if you would like to uh, fly in, to pick up your uh, new vehicle we'll pay for up to thousand dollars of your travel expenses as well so keep that in mind too if you want to do that so again uh, hopefully uh, you find a great dealership locally but if you are struggling law macarthur is here to help you out and get your vehicle ordered the way you like ordered and have it delivered right to your door or come up here and have a, a quality first uh, time or a first a great experience purchasing your new vehicle so again thanks for watching this video hope you liked it don't forget to find us on social media we're at law macarthur on facebook twitter and instagram and if you want i have a link right down there it's my link tree and that will show you all the different places you can find me on uh on the different social media outlets out there as well as our podcast and weekly live streams that we do here on our youtube channel every tuesday at 7 p.m central time zone so hope you check those out and uh, we talk a lot about ordering vehicles production any kind of constraints that might hold up your uh, orders and that kind of thing so it'd be kind of a fun plus we update you on news updates and information and everything else like that so check those out if you get a chance and until the next video we'll see you later